it doesn't matter how long I've been doing this, sometimes I just don't know how to start a vlog. Today is one of those days. I guess hi would be a good start. Um, this is my first, this is the first vlog of this year. I did upload a week or so ago, but that was technically filmed over the holidays. So this is the first official vlog filmed in 2023. I'll be honest, I've not been doing great this month. I always find January and February really hard. No matter how much I try to carry on doing the things that make me feel good, getting out of the house, going for a walk, working out, whatever it is, those things just don't make me feel better. Um, it's just something about January and February that I always struggle with. I'm seeing lots of people feeling refreshed after the holidays and feeling motivated for the new year and I'm just not feeling like that. Um, I never do um, as much as I try to. If any of you are feeling the same and you find the start of a year particularly challenging for whatever reason, just know that you're not alone. I'm starting to feel a bit better now. I'm getting there. It's getting a bit bright now. Let's bring you closer. This vlog is sponsored by one of my favourite partners, Skin and Me. I will um, talk about them a bit later. But a big thank you to Skin and Me for sponsoring the first vlog of the year. Oh, I had my hair cut a couple of weeks ago and it's feeling so much better. I took a lot of weight out of my hair and obviously from the ends and it just helps it keep a curl and I quite I really like it at this length. It's not too it's not too long, not too short. It's just a good length. I like it at this length. I have some new cushions down here that I bought for the bed. I was going to save them for maybe a month or so when it was felt more like spring, but I really want to put them on the bed now. They're from the same brand that our quilt is from over there. I've had a lot of questions about that quilt over the years. I thought they were just going to be pillowcases. I didn't realise that they were going to come as a complete pillow and have a pillow inside. And I didn't realise that they were going to be slightly smaller. <laughs> the other two pillows that are usually underneath these are in the wash. So it's looking a bit flat. If I put them up like that, I thought these would look nice with the bedding. Just really love the fabric that they're in. I love the ruffles and I love this embroidered cotton. And I didn't want to wait a couple of months until it was spring. Just felt like putting them on the bed now. I hope you guys don't mind, but I think today's vlog is going to be a chatty one. Um, not a lot's going to be going on. I don't know what I'm like. Usually, I mean the premise. I mean that's the premise of most of my vlogs, isn't it? Hanging out at home and having a natter. But it's very much so going to be the case today because, um, like, usually I at least have an idea of what I'm getting up to or what I'm doing. I'm just going to have a catch up and have a good old natter in today's vlog. I'm not going to worry about trying to make it entertaining, I'm just going to chat away and um, hopefully you guys don't mind. Um, I mean there's not a lot to catch you up on because like I said I haven't been feeling great this month. Oh I can show you my half made jumper. I've run out of one of the yarns so I can't finish the sleeves. Shall I try it on and show you? The jumper's a little, it's a little squiffy. It's not perfect. I finally mastered the neckline after trying a few times and then I just wasn't concentrating when I was, because I had never done German short rows before and so I had to go back on myself to redo just this top bit here and in the process I made, there's a couple of holes but you know everything else is looking okay. Also my my mirror is currently here because behind the door here is usually where the mirror is but I have a stack of boxes <laughs> full of wedding dresses. I guess that's also another thing that I can update you on. I was trying them on the other day and the lighting's better with the windows behind the mirror rather than having the mirror over there and I was taking photos and um, wanted to see what it looked like. Plonked the mirror there and put the boxes there and I just haven't moved it back. I mean, as you can see, this is a very this is a very chunky jumper. Although not as chunky as I think it's meant to be because I couldn't quite find the exact yarn. The gauge is slightly out and it's a little squiffy here. But yeah, this is the pattern from Petty Knit. It's the marble sweater. It's so snuggly and I did want it a little bit longer. 
and I did try it on before I <laughs> started the rib. With, I think it will, look, it will look so much better when it has the arms on it. But I'm really proud of myself and I've learned all sorts of techniques. Any knitters who watch me, how do you stop this very obvious where I've done my make one rights and make one lefts? They're just a little bit, especially on this side, it's just a little bit gappy. And I don't know how to fix that. As much as my perfectionism is thinking, yeah, it could look better. It doesn't look very professional. I have to remind myself that this is the first thing I've made. So maybe I don't need to be so harsh on myself. So it's so comfy, I don't want to take it off. I just, I do wish it was a little bit longer. But you know what? I'm going to take that. I'm very, I'm very proud of myself. Um, I just need to now finish the sleeves. Um, so yeah, that's the, uh, that's the update on knitting. Let's take this, let's try and take this off. Guys, I, I know I said I wouldn't talk about wedding stuff all the time, but I'm currently in the thick of getting most of, most of the kind of things set in stone, deposits paid, things booked, and then it will go quite quiet for the rest of the year. And obviously I've been trying to find my dress and honestly, I didn't think I would find it so hard. You see so many people online go to maybe one or two wedding dress shops and then they find the dress and it's all exciting and I just haven't had that experience. Any of you that also struggled to find a wedding dress and didn't have that kind of experience you think you're going to have, let me know. <laughs> Tell me I'm not alone in this. I went to a couple of dress shops and there just there was nothing I wanted, like nothing that felt me. And I'll talk about this more, I guess, once um, the wedding's been and I can really talk about my dress. I found my dress whilst trying on dresses that were delivered to the house in my bedroom by myself. And that's, yeah, that's just the way it's gone for me. And I'm really happy for anyone who has had that experience where they go to the dress shop and oh I need to put my other jumper on yeah I'm really happy for anyone who has had that experience where they've got their friends and family and they go to the dress shop and it's all very excited and they find they find the dress and it's all really emotional that's not how it's on for me um which is completely fine I don't need to go make myself some lunch and actually before we go downstairs let's talk about skin and me I have just finished my current daily dosa and I have my new one here. I would love to make this more interesting and talk whilst I do my skincare but obviously I don't take my makeup off until the end of the day and it gets dark really early so the lighting is not great so we're just going to do it now. It's a new year and some of you may be wanting to try out a new skincare routine. You may have been thinking about trying Skin and Me for a while and um, I often get messages asking if I have a current discount code that I can share. I have nothing but good things to say about Skin and Me. I recommend them to everyone. I've religiously been using my daily doser for over two and a half, about two and a half years now. Always love starting a fresh one. Um, and then, yeah, and then this one that I finished will just go straight into the recycling. Since I've been using them, I've stripped back my skincare, made skincare really simple really effective. I started using them because I was struggling with acne, it sorted out my acne and there are many reasons why you might want to start using Skin and Me. It might not be because you have spots but it might be because you have really dry skin or you might have um, redness or whatever it may be. I'll leave my link and discount code in the description if you want to try them out. You can get your first daily doser for £3.50 and um, like I always say I couldn't recommend them enough. They take the guesswork out of skincare I don't know about you but a few years ago I didn't know what to do with my skin I was breaking out constantly there's all this information about serums and sprays and essences and moisturizers and do this don't do that I found the whole skincare thing very overwhelming and I just didn't really know what I needed for my skin and skin and me are great at they're great with communication, so if something's not working with your daily doser, which by the way is completely personalised by their team, dependent on your skin and what your goals are, if something's not working for you, you can just message them and say, 
this isn't working or actually I would like to focus on this instead, could we change my formula? They work with you to figure out something that works for you. But yeah, it just takes the guesswork out of it. You feel confident knowing that you have a product that's tailored to your skin and you you know that you're using the right amount. I just love them and um, like I said, I will leave my link and code in the description. Other than that and other than obviously my cleansers, the only other product that I use on my face is my SPF. I have used this every day. I've got it on today, I'll have it on tomorrow. Um, every day, winter, spring, summer, autumn. Since using Skin of Me, I've made sure that I also use this every single day. The one that I love is the Body Shop Skin Defense Multi Protection. I use this, it's a slightly lighter one. It's just nicer for everyday use, especially under makeup. It doesn't break me out and it feels really nice. This is the SPF that I swear by. And um, for anyone wondering, oh my gosh, I have been talking for so long. Let's go get some lunch. It's one of those days where I don't particularly fancy anything. So I think <laughs> that's not the soup. I think I'm going to use up this. Something I do want to do this afternoon is sit down and I've got some phone calls that I need to make some emails I need to do. So I'm gonna have this. And then spend an hour or so doing some bits on my laptop. That's about as exciting as I think today is going to get. Decided to make a cheese and marmite toasty to go with my soup. And that's, that's about as much as I can be bothered to make. Usually I would have some salad on the side. I've had lunch and as you can probably guess I'm about to make a coffee. I am, <laughs> I'm a creature of habit. I wanted to show you, oops, I wanted to show you these espresso cups that I um, bought in the sales. They're from a brand called Anna and Nina. Aren't these the sweetest little cups? I got them about half price on Selfridges. I can try and find these and link them. Sorry, you have to excuse my fingers I oh God, it's a whole other it's a whole other discussion I've never spoken about this before um because it's just I it's just not something that I just feel like I need to talk about so in the last handful of years the doctor realized after doing some x-rays that I have arthritis because of other symptoms that I've had over the years I've been referred to a rheumatologist um and we will go from there. Um, but a new symptom that I've had, which is fun recently, is when it gets really cold. So back in December, we had some kind of minus temperatures and then we've had another cold spell this week. My right hand, especially these two fingers here, they swell, they don't look like, they, it's not too noticeable, but I can really feel it. It feels like there's, they just feel strange. They hurt and they get really sore but also the skin gets really red and so the swelling's gone down a little bit but you can see these patches of skin that I don't know how it, how it works when it's linked to your bones but somehow it comes out in your skin but yeah my um, my fingers have been quite sore and inflamed um so that's why it looks like I've punched something yeah anyway so I'm not going to use one right now because um I'm only going to do oh where's my I'm only going to do a single shot as it's the afternoon. So I just pour it straight into my cup. But yeah, I love them. And they, um, they're handmade in, I want to say Portugal. Can't remember. I think the sticker said Portugal. They're handmade in Portugal. And they're just the diddiest. I don't know. I just love them. Just needed to wash up my glass. Um, I have a lot of stripy things in this kitchen. These were from Anthropology last 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 year or the year before i bought them because i just i don't know i just they were thought they were thought they were fun um, and they've ended up being one of my most used and most loved things in the kitchen i don't think there's anything else i need to show you i just really wanted to show you those cups because i love them as we're just having an answer and talking about just just talking about bits and bobs this is our ice cube tray um, that I bought on Amazon. Again, I'll see if I can link it. Getting fed up of using our ice cube tray that it was those, it was really hard to get ice cubes out of the ice cube tray. I didn't want to keep buying bags of ice. Usually I have three trays in there and then it's really easy to get your ice cubes out. The worktop is clean by the way. All you have to do, oh, 
they're, all, they're already coming out. All you have to do is slightly twist and they're all just, they just pop out like that. I used to have to slam the other ice cube tray to try and get them out. Just a, just a nifty find that I found on Amazon. <laughs> Slots in perfectly there. None of you probably needed to or wanted to know that, but there we go. I know some of you find it funny when I share where or what I'm using as a tripod for the camera and just in the last few clips I've had you balanced on top of here on a chopping board just on this little these chopping boards here just then I had you balanced on top of this water bottle which was on top of I mean I'm just asking to break my camera aren't I <laughs> on top of the washing machine and had you on here. Balancing a camera, using random objects as a tripod is my party trick. <laughs> been on the phone for most of the afternoon. I'm about to do some washing up. Just getting Lila's dinner ready. <laughs> <laughs> You're so strong! <laughs> she's made herself a den under the table. So she's currently under there having her dinner. out this evening he's gone climbing so he's sorting his own dinner um i probably should have gone out and got some bits tonight because um everything i could think of making i didn't have one ingredient i thought oh i could do this but then i don't have any rice i could make this or but i don't have any the oh, you know such and such the only thing i could think to make with what we had in the house was a noodle stir fry so i'm going to pop some of these noodles on these are all the veggies that we had left in the fridge so we've got some carrots we've got some pak choy broccoli sugar snap peas and some baby corn this is how much we need to go shopping for essentials and stock up because we barely had half a portion of these corn chicken pieces there's probably about a quarter of a portion there we had two chicken nuggets left so i've cooked those in the oven that will, that should just about do let's get these veggies on oh what's <laughs> of course there's a giant rubber duck in the hallway why wouldn't there be i have made myself well half made half made a mixture to make a chocolate mug cake later because i really fancied it but we are out of christmas chocolate and i need something to fill the void of not having any chocolate to have post dinner you can have that with some greek yogurt um and i would say i'd have it with some berries but earlier um and i i just let delilah help herself to most things around the house she helped herself to some fruit earlier and she managed to eat whole punnet of so there's half half of this is raspberries the other half are blueberries and she's eaten the whole side of blueberries this was full earlier <laughs> so i've got, got a little bit of fruit to have I've got some raspberries to have with my pudding <laughs> looking forward to having this and I'm going to stick on friends um that's all I've been watching lately think it's a good idea to come up to bed and end the vlog in here when the lighting's terrible and um, I've tried putting that light in front of me but the lighting's even worse when I do that so I'm just going to leave that 
lamp there and be slightly backlit. I brought a book up to bed. I've not read a book for a fair few months. Um, I did start Sorrow, Sorrow and Bliss. Bliss and Sorrow and Bliss, which I was enjoying. I go through phases with reading and I've been getting into knitting and so knitting's kind of taken over when I would usually read and you obviously can't knit and read at the same time. I mean maybe you can but I definitely can't knit and read at the same time. I didn't finish Sorrow and Bliss but I don't feel like picking it up again. I was looking through my books and the only one that I felt like I really wanted to start was A Little Life. Not the lightest read. I may read a chapter and think, nope, I'm going to read this because I've spent far too many nights scrolling on my phone and going to bed too late because of it. Doug should be home soon. Until then I can spread, <laughs> spread across the bed. I feel like I should be continuing this vlog into at least tomorrow, if not the weekend. It feels strange that I only started this afternoon and I'm already sick saying goodbye. Realistically there's not going to be anything I can film tomorrow. Delilah and I have the dentist late afternoon. Doug's actually staying a night in London. I don't know why it's taken me so long to get my words out. Um, yeah he's out for a friend's birthday and he's going to um, be staying over so um, I've said to Delilah that she can um, we can have a movie night and she can stay up late with me and um, she's asked if she, so every every now and again she likes to bring her mattress and all her bedding and everything in here and have a sleepover so um yeah we're going to do that tomorrow and then saturday and sunday are going to be very all over the place um don't quite know our plans but there's just not going to be anything really to film just going to do the one day vlog today in the next vlog i think i'm probably going to film uh, over a weekend. I think next weekend might be a nice one. So um, yeah, and then hopefully everything will just resume as um, as normal. I'm slowly falling asleep as I talk to you. I don't think I'm going to get much of this book read. I hope at least for some of you this was just a nice vlog to just have on for the sake of watching a vlog. You know sometimes you just need company, you need something on in the background um, and you don't really care what's happening, you just want to have something on. I hope I could be that for you. When do you guys watch vlogs? I tend to watch them. See, it's funny, I rarely, I will rarely watch vlogs in the evening. Like you, YouTube to me is not a nighttime thing that I want to watch. I, I do occasionally, but um, I mostly like to watch YouTube either with my breakfast or with lunch or just during the day if I'm doing something where I can have something on in the background. I do sometimes get into bed and watch videos but I prefer to save my favourite. I tend to just watch random random shorts and odd YouTube videos here and there when I'm in bed um, but any one that I love to watch I, I like to save and actually watch it on the TV. God, oh, I can't remember a time where we didn't watch YouTube on TV. And do you guys watch YouTube on more on the TV, laptop or your phone? Because obviously back in the day, we used to just, there was no watching it on your phone. There was no watching it on you, on um, your TV. Just always, any, any time I wanted to watch YouTube, it would have to be on my laptop. Yeah, never watch it on my laptop anymore. Anyway, big thank you to Skin and Me for sponsoring this video. Um, if you would like to use my discount code, I will leave links and everything in the description. Um, I think I'm pretty much ready to fall asleep. Um, I'm going to read some of this and um, I'll <laughs> I'll keep you posted. I've had plenty warning about this book, so don't worry. And just like the start of this vlog, I now don't know how to end this vlog. I guess I'll just say goodbye and... I will see you in the next one.